If I was the fastest cowboy stuntman actor that's ever been in the movies, and I could ride and run and jump with anybody. I've got John Wayne pictures all over my front room. I've got medals and trophies, and I worked for 45, over 45 years uh, working for John Wayne. I did 10 movies with John Wayne. I did The Alamo. I did Rio Bravo. I did McClintock, El Dorado, True Grit. you it was very exciting they had all these great uh, politicians and uh, people from all over the world there at the games and uh, the cold war was going on hello this is lindy when the time for the olympics arrived you have the opening day ceremonies do you know what happened it rained hard, hard rain. The head coach says, Lindy and Finistine Smith and anybody, he said, you are not to be marching. So Finistine Smith and I sat together watching the parade. And it poured and it rained. And but tears came down our face because we were what we wanted. We wanted to march out there with the rest of the Americans. Here come the Russians and their white suits with their red ties. They had no hats on. Now, at that time, we were at the point of the ceremonies where they turned out all the, the pigeons, the birds of peace, but they dropped the droppings on those rush and messed up those white suits. <laughs> it was a damp, cold day. I got a real good start. I got an even start, and I ran, I think I was just a hair ahead, about 60 or 70 yards. And what I never did quite understand is that somewhere about 75 or 80 yards, McDonald Bailey from Great Britain got in my lane. It was the closest finish of Olympic history. At 80 meters, I was in front by one yard. Then I said, I'm going to win, I'm going to win, I could felt it. You know what I did? I did something really stupid. I started putting my chest out. <laughs> you know what happens when you put your chest out? Your feet get shorter and shorter. Your stride gets shorter. And I almost blew it. At the finish line, I thought McKinley had beaten me because well, a few inches passed out, he went right by me. <laughs> he was finishing so fast. I felt a little bit frustrated because it took about an hour for them to discover who won, how the, the finish of the race was. And it was, it was so tight and so close that we really didn't know. But now, they didn't have those photo finishers quite like we've got now. Remagino first, Herb McKinley from Jamaica second, McDonald Bailey from Great Britain was third, Honest Dean Smith, USA, 10-4, was fourth. Valerie Sukharov was fifth, 10-5. John Traylor, Australia, 10.5. Viendo la foto finis, las posiciones de los atletas que se otorgaron fueron las correctas, 
aunque hoy en día el tiempo seguro que sería distinto para cada uno de los atletas. Para Remigino 10.77, McKinley 10.79, Bailey 10.83 y Smith 10.84. Por lo tanto, Dean Smith está bien colocado en la cuarta posición y no merece el bronce en esta carrera. After all these years, I've looked at the at this race and I can tell you that I should have been awarded a bronze medal. I remember going to the movies there and seeing Gone with the Wind in Finnish. It was the most beautiful theater you ever saw. I had to get a job, man. Uh, I had to get in the movies. I had a friend, and he got me in the movies. I've had one hell of a run, uh, one great life. I've been good, and I could ride, run, and jump with anybody that ever lived. It was really exciting doubling all these leading men and women, John Wayne or Gary Cooper or Jimmy Stewart or Richard Widmark. And uh, so I had to do stunt work in order to survive out there. But the longer I got established as a stuntman, the more reputation I had. I was lucky I didn't have any brain damage from all my falls. <laughs> I was the fastest cowboy stuntman actor that's ever been in the movies. You know, I've had about, uh, well, about 64 years since then, and I wished I could run that race over. <laughs> I think I'd win it this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bragging on you now. Have a good day.